Hi, my name is John Pryor, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up the Power BI integration for Assemble. So first, we start with this form. If you want to follow this link, you can follow along with what I'm doing. First, we're going to hit Submit, and this is going to download the Power BI client files. Let's open that up, and you see it comes with two folders. First is Data Connector, and the second one is the templates that you'll be using for your Power BI templates. So first. I'm going to hop into my documents. So it's really important that we label this document called Microsoft Power BI Desktop. A lot of times it will come in as Power BI Desktop, but it needs to say Microsoft Power BI Desktop in order for this integration to work. So you'll see within this folder, I have another folder called Custom Connectors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the Power BI client files, click into this data connector, and all you're going to do is just drag and drop. This into this file for custom connectors. Great. So now let's jump into the templates. So we're going to start with project design and estimating. This is the easiest one to set up. So this is going to launch Power BI for you. And if you don't already have Power BI Desktop, you can get that from the Microsoft Store. As long as you have Office 365, you should be able to get Power BI. So right here, it says your site subdomain. So my, my site subdomain is prior.triassemble.com. Whatever comes before the try assemble, put that in as a site subdomain. And we can either connect directly with a project name, or what I'm going to do for this is hit the drop down next to load, hit edit, and then I'm going to launch it from here. So you'll see that there was another screen that popped up. We're going to start in here. So we're going to head over to selected project. So this is all the available projects I have within my site. So I can only choose one for this template. So I'm going to hit the drop down next to project name. And I'm just going to work with the ICAST P6 data. Hit OK. And then once you're done, come over to the top left and hit close and apply. So this is going to connect to your model and then bring in everything that we've already set up in this template. All right, great. So we have everything in here for our template. And now we can work with grid data and build out some more templates, more views based on this Power BI template. All right, so some of you may have gotten an issue when trying to get this set up. It would have said grid data failed to load, something along those lines. So if you did get this issue, now you would come to File, go to Options and Settings, and then click into Options. So there's three things that we have to change before this template can work. The first is within the global settings here in security. So by default, your data extensions is going to say recommended, only allow certified extensions to load. We don't want that. We want the not recommended. Um, so make sure that this is clicked off before we can go forward. Next, we're going to go into privacy. We always need to make sure that we're ignoring privacy level settings. Um, the Assemble Connect is a third-party data connector, which is why Power BI sometimes doesn't like it, which is why we have to do all this work before it can work. Last thing we need to do is preview features. Make sure that we have the custom data connector set up. That way this data connector can work. All right. Well, that's everything you're going to need to get started with this Power BI integration. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions on what I can do now. But thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.